Hey Sharks, I'm Anais Denuccio. And I'm Kaylee Heron. Today, we'll be watching a short film about a shy girl expressing her creativity through art, a PSA on spray painting, and a new story on the Spanish monastery and the art behind it. All happening here on Shark News. Here we have a short film starring me, created by your own sharks, showing students that you can express yourself in many different ways, like art. Take a look. Starring me. <laughs> Dude, if you log in now, you could probably get like three thousand clicks from being off. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, but it got painted over right after. Really? Why? Just watch this next PSA, that'll explain why. Hey! Wait, why are you eating cereal like that? Hey, first of all, I'm lactose intolerant, and second of all, it's a snack, not um, a cereal. Being lactose intolerant is no excuse to eat it like that. That's a disgrace. Says the girl who thinks it's a cereal. This is a cereal. No way, it's a snack. It's a cereal. A snack. A cereal. Not ah. Uh, yeah, huh? Yeah, huh? Nah, ah! Yeah, huh? I love these! Is it a snack? Or is it a cereal? Uh, guys, it's just tubes. Let's take it back a few decades and look at the historical feature known as the Spanish Monastery. You mean monastery? That's what I said, monastery. It's monastery. Monastery. You know what? Let's just play the video. Today I'm standing at one of the many places where bricks were shipped to America to create one of the finest monasteries. John A. Petrosky has worked at the Spanish Monastery as a tour guide for many years. He's taken the liberty to describe an enriched history of the church and how it connects to the community. Realizing that it's, it's something very, very unique, knowing how old it actually is, but seeing close up 
how old it is and worshiping here worshiping in is it, it's you can almost feel what's in these stones almost 800 years 700 years of, of worship Mr. Petrosky explains the most influential person who was connected with this church. It was the monastic, monastic order was one that was created by a French cleric, St. Bernard de Clairvaux, who was of his time, the most influential cleric of his time. Mr. Petrosky mentioned how the tenant of the monastery had changed over time. You know, this now is a fully functioning church 365 days a year you know originally it was bought by Hearst to be used in his California place for his own use mainly more than really tourists but it was re-bought by people to bring down here primarily for tourism and that's when the tourism just flourished this is Tara Tong Delinsky signing out from WSRK Shark News. That's all for today, Sharks. This is WSRK Shark News signing off. Now let's take it back a few decades and look at the historical feature known as the Spanish Monastery. You mean monastery? No, I said monastery. Oh, wait, you mean yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Sharks, I'm Anais Denuccio. And I'm Kaylee Heron. Today, we'll be watching <laughs> wait, a short what's film. <laughs> all happening here? On Shark News. <laughs>